Greetings Taurus, welcome to your reading. I'm Ida, thanks for tuning in. So I'm gonna do um, the head, the heart, the soul, and the loins for you. So I'm gonna be reading the energy of each point, right? Like where your head space is at, where your heart space is at, where your soul space at, is at, and then where your loin space is. And loin is just like, you know, your lower nature self. Um, yeah, but what I was already picking up for you yesterday is you're an Afro Samarisa now. Not an Afro Samurai. I mean, if you're, you know, if you identify as a masculine, then, you know, you're a Samurai now. A spiritual Samurai. But I picked up Afro Samarisa. So this is someone who is, like, you know, black and feminine. Or, like, that's what I'm really, really getting. But it, this is for anyone if you're not black samurai samarisa whatever but that's just what i've heard afro samarisa and i think that's because it's like you've really kind of switched your whole spiritual style up like it's it's a spiritual upgrading or a spiritual new understanding of yourself that maybe you haven't felt before. And it's like, um, yesterday too, I was running like a shinobi in Naruto. When they run, they put their arms back like that and then they just start running. I just started running like that. And I feel like that's just representing like your spiritual strength right now. And it feels almost like it's like the war isn't won but the strength that you have downloaded and pumped yourself up with is like powerful you know and then also you know how um they'll say like you're at the the, the you're on a treetop the treetop summit, like you're on a treetop, literally just like how shinobis like are up in the trees kind of, right? Like you're in this place where, you know, spiritually you have power and you've done a nice chunk of work. And so it's showing, you know, and it's like you can sit on that treetop and feel safe you know not everyone's gonna be able to climb up there where you're at you know and it's like that it wasn't easy to get up there right like sometimes you were climbing and then you fell down or you you know tried to reach this one branch and the branch broke and you know it's like a lot of process that comes with this but i'm really feeling this kind of quiet inner celebration of self very humble it feels humble and it feels almost secretive kind of like a little secretive so let's see like an inner celebration you know sometimes where it's like just for you something for you to show you know how far you've come but then also i'm getting you know Firstly, anyone that doesn't have any grace for you, you don't have time for them anymore. Like, it's like you give yourself the grace that you need to keep on in the direction that you're going. And it's like, if they don't have that grace, I don't hear you. Like, it's like, I'm not hearing you, you know? It's like, it's really like it's a cool energy it's a cool energy so let me pull these cards and see what your headspace is and then there's almost this feeling of like wanting to keep it quiet like wanting to just like hold on to it like a gem in your heart you know like it's like this is my this is something for me, you know and maybe it wasn't always like that for you I don't know like some maybe at points or maybe you're just finding balance between like what you're doing it for who you who it's for you know 
Okay. Yes. Yeah, so it's like you're literally learning your true worth right now. In the headspace, we've got enlightenment power and then true worth in reverse. And so I feel like there's still more work to do for you. But, and that's why I was saying it feels quiet. Like it's kind of like a uploading of a, a, a re-understanding of yourself. Like how you see yourself. When you look in the mirror, what do you see? And it, it um... Yeah, it's almost like there's more to be discovered. That you even maybe are playing yourself small. Like, even though you've come a long way, you may even still be playing it small and you don't even realize that yet. That's what I'm seeing because true worth came out in reverse. Like, yeah, and then I'm noticing this flower, like how fully bloomed this beautiful flower is. It's kind of like you don't even really see fully the progress that you've made, the growth that you've made. And then, like, you're not even seeing it yet. You're not even seeing it yet. So the heart. Hmm. Okay, so in the heart space, embracing change the power of my voice in reverse yeah so it's like you're finding the power and what you have to say and really feeling that you believe it you know like not afraid to say it anymore what you believe or how you feel and that's a change for you you know like it wasn't always like that and there are times that you, you know, had a hard time speaking up or had a hard time believing that your words, that anyone really would want to hear them more so. Yeah. And so your heart is kind of opening to being exactly who you want to be. And it's, it's like an intricate process and a slow process, right? And maybe you're used to people kind of like spiritually beating you down for your thoughts. And then it's like, but you're just blooming. It's this beautiful bloom energy. Like this is good vibes to me. But in the soul, okay, so in the soul space, you know, though, um, I mean, I'm feeling just maybe you're a little tired or just a little, <laughs> like, weighed down. Like, you've done a lot of work, like a shinobi after the journey, right? And I'm always thinking, like, in Naruto, they, in Naruto... <laughs> they have to walk into the forest first right like they go on this long walk then they have to fight then they gotta walk back to town and so it kind of feels like this walk back to town where you're a little kind of worn down and you really just want to like go eat some ramen you know like it has that energy but maybe you feel like you can't do that yet because sanctuary came out in reverse like feeling like you don't really have the space to do that but you need that but you're just not quite there for that yet. Or like you, you're just still walking back towards that, you know? And then ageless beauty in reverse. I feel like maybe are you thinking about your age or thinking about that you're getting, not like you're getting old, you're older than you were, you know? And just kind of thinking about like, Kind of, I'm picking up, wait, hold on. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. My creative power, inner wakefulness, and I love base reality. Okay. Ignite. 
finding my joy yeah wow okay so it's like there's something there's it's like just the need for renewal is is really serious in a lot of different ways but then it's like when i'm looking at the loin space my creative power in reverse or no my creative power upright but then love-based reality in reverse and then inner wakefulness in reverse so i feel like there's kind of Sometimes when you've been so focused on your spiritual growth and being the spiritual Afro Samarisa or whatever, right? It's like there are certain things that kind of get put aside. And then you just leave them there for whatever reasons. And sometimes it's like even though they're important to you, you still leave them there. And you come up with these reasons as to why they should stay there. Whether it be because, you know, it's like partly because you're trying to be better, right? Spiritually, growth, right? And, and what I'm saying more so is with sexual energy is really what I'm picking up with this. Of kind of like, yeah, sex is not important. Or like, my love life is not important, really. Like, it'll, it's whatever it is. You know, these things don't really matter. But then it's also, I feel like you're putting your fear away with that. Like your fear is sitting right there next to those things that you're pushing aside. And you're saying you don't need them because you're above them, right? You're on that treetop above. But like, if you go back and look at those things that you've pushed aside for the sake of your spiritual growth, like the fear is right there in in the basket with it you know what i mean so it's kind of like you've made these good strong choices for yourself but then there's still um a part of yourself that like needs freeing that needs that wants space to really be um be free you know and feel safe to be feel safe to exist because i'm feeling like you feel like maybe you don't even have a sanctuary to be that part of yourself like it's like i always have to be strong like it's like i've done all this work i'm the afro samurai now but then it's like but there's a part of you that wants to rest that wants to have fun that wants to feel safe to participate in lower nature things right because it's like you can't get rid of that side of yourself and we i feel like we all try like some of us try some of us not all of us but kind of this idea of like i have to always rise above it but then you're avoiding a part of yourself like a true part of yourself that will never ever go away And to be honest, in a way, it's a blessing because it's like not every, not everyone can say that. There are people who are so in their lower nature desires at all times that they have to do the work to fix that. You know, like they have to do the work to now pull back from that. And that's harder, right? When you have certain addictions or things you participate in that make you feel good, but they're not always good for you, right? But like... I'm picking up it's kind of like the opposite for you of like you've really been very steadfast in certain things and that it's like even the most high is like you are don't forget like these are normal things you know what I mean these are normal human things like and there may be trauma attached to that too right but it's kind of like you don't have to <laughs> i don't know i'm just picking up like so strong that then that may become your detriment at some point okay
and then also with the loin space i'm picking up like you might even be feeling let me see i am completely awake and tuned into my truth clarity and inner wisdom mm -hmm. it's kind of a feeling like you need to come down from the tree and put your feet into the soil and like feel again you know like what do you actually feel what do you what's actually what do you feel you know like what do your feet bot what does your body feel though you know let's get some oracle i'll start down here because i feel like there's more with this Look, the devil. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you're freeing yourself from these this fear of your lower nature. Like this fear of of what that would look like, what that means, and kind of I'm picking up male gaze. Like, what does it look like for you? I feel like maybe um just like there's a lot of bad energy attached to that part of yourself, where it's like you just close the door to that because it's just too much connected to it too much bad memories i mean you got the six of cups in reverse see you've just kind of like hiding like that's kind of like even hiding behind your purity is what i'm feeling with this like hiding behind these white flowers hiding behind the purity right and even when it comes to purity it's always like there's going to be someone who wants you to not be pure who can't see you for your actual purity right like it's like they're not pure or like that's not what I remember that's not a pure girl that's not what I see right and it's like you are and like take it for what however you identify but it's like you know you are but everybody has a shadow and not all shadow energy is bad energy like it's we have to have the light in the dark right but then it you know it's like a lot of chatter chatter chit chat about what they think when really they don't you know they're so in their lower nature they don't know what purity would be if it bit them in the boote you know they wouldn't know because they don't know so it's like It's kind of, it's just like a different experience. I'm imagining someone kind of like floating down from being kind of somewhere hidden up here and having to like grrr, land back down on earth and like feel those normal, like just regular earthly humanly things again at your own time though, right? But it feels like there's just like a lot of drama attached to that and so it maybe makes you feel a little insecure a little um not enough not sensual enough i got the queen of pentacles in reverse not hot enough or like you know i'm too awkward or i'm like i've always just been that pure person you know and sometimes it's like now that's your detriment that like you're out of balance in the other way in a certain way and how you balance it is up to you okay let me see High Priestess.
yeah okay so i'm really picking up with something you know when you're highly spiritual spiritual warrior right you're using your intuition a lot like strong third eye But then it's like that triggers you in a certain way too from getting you know it's like if you were sit if you're sitting on top of a tree and then you're using your intuition to decide which way you're going to get back down onto the ground floor right and then every time you use your intuition your intuition is letting you know somebody's running around with a sword trying to swipe anybody that comes down from a tree somebody's waiting at the bottom of the tree you know with a poison apple to feed you somebody's it's like you're not gonna want to get down you'll never get down because you're just looking for any problem that could arise out of fear even you know and then but not realizing like you're maybe quicker than you think like you know how quick the shinobis run like it's like you're actually pretty quick and it's like you could stand on the ground floor and still pick up a problem when it comes to you you know and then i'm picking up also being able to decipher like when your intuition is for you and when it's for a different situation completely which can be hard but it's feeling like there's like a you're trying to balance and adapt to the realities of the negativity in the world while also feeling safe again and that's hard because it's like there's always going to be you know it's always going to be something some problem some negative energy right and that kind of goes back to the light and the dark it's like it'll never be it'll never be that night doesn't come unless you know i don't know but like <laughs> there's gonna always be a sunrise and a sunset so it's kind of like remembering that and then rebalancing yourself to that fact that like you've handled many nights dark nights and the sun still came up you know like it's like you don't have to be afraid and like you're allowed to free yourself from the disharmony now that's what i'm seeing with that too because we got the lovers in reverse disharmony eight of swords in reverse like you're like still gathering information to ensure that you're safe you know go to the soul space with these So first I'm hearing, trust your intuition, it's true. Because I saw the moon and then the ace of swords. So it's like you're seeing clearly. So you don't have to worry about missing out or like missing something. And I remember seeing that somewhere like you always know. And that was something for me. Like you always know. You know, like you can always be saying, I'm not sure. Or I'm pretty sure but then i could be totally wrong and it's like no you know yourself and especially if you've really done this for a long time and seen a lot of different type of weird experiences in your life 
you know you know so that's the first thing but then So because of that, I feel like there's something your intuition has been telling you. Like, it's okay. There's some, like, something is okay, but, like, you won't, you're not really willing to accept that yet. Like, you're okay. You're okay. You're, like, really actually okay. You know what I mean? Like, you're better than okay. You're honestly really, really great. And the reality is also, it's like not everyone is going to tell you that. You know what I mean? And it's like sometimes when you really need to hear it the most, you won't hear it. You have to tell yourself because like no one want, not everyone wants you to know that, you know? But then you have to just believe, you know, you have to believe it for yourself. Because that's kind of what I'm getting, like... You're not trusting the sanctuary of your own space. Not trusting you're allowed to have sanctuary. Or that, like, you know, that it'll never end. That it was to your sanctuary was at one point taken away. And then now you're trying to find what it feels like to get it back. And what it feels like to get that back. And then, but it's like you're delaying it and delaying it and delaying it. But it feels like a complicated, it feels like a tricky blockage to clear, though, at the same time. Like, it's... It's like the work doesn't stop, but now the work is a little bit different. But enjoy this kind of work, you know? Like, it's like, enjoy the work of what it looks like to soothe yourself again you know like going the opposite way instead of like going hella hard against the grain spiritually right just spiritual fighter what does it look like to kind of now soothe yourself again you know like that's now the work and shining again i just saw 50 shine like That's the soul space. It's like your soul is kind of like, like clearing all this hard, grueling work and this like trashy energy that you've been holding on to, you know, and honestly, like just like this dark, it feels like something right in the heart space, basically the solar plexus and the heart space, really cleansing that out. I just heard of exorcism and I don't know what I don't know what that's about but sometimes yeah yeah I mean that comes with it right like uh, that comes with spiritual work also it's like dealing with some dark ass energies
Okay, see, and so I'm also picking up, see, this is what I'm saying. As you're at the top of this treetop, there are people at the bottom of the tree that are still trying to kind of claim what they know and what they don't know about you, even though you're too high up there for them to really see you clearly. You know, because I'm seeing it's like I'm feeling like there's this energy working really, really hard. Putting a lot of work in to secure that you are someone that you're not. Like working overtime to secure. I see the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles to secure, you know. To secure either that you're unstable emotionally with the king of cups in reverse or like um yeah like i'm feeling like somebody is just still look still seven of pentacles still like they're still just trying to like do something do something what are they trying to do but i think it's like you're even at a part where it's like you're getting to a point where you're seeing that you don't even really have to worry about these energies you know like some people will talk for their just talk and talk for the rest of their life and really didn't say nothing the whole time you know just we're going and going and, and nobody even we didn't even know we didn't even really take it to heart because we didn't believe you like that kind of energy like someone just really still going but and maybe that was kind of scary to you at one point like as you were questioning your own worth other people's ideas of your worth you know made you feel like damn are they right but now you're seeing it's just foolery tomfoolery and that it has no validity at all because it's like you're your own solar system you know like you're, you're literally your own solar system the competition is exhausted they're exhausted like the five of wands and the nine of wands these people are working over who are working overtime to try to <clears throat> do this this that embarrass you or whatever it's kind of like mm. And maybe that even, I don't know, even, maybe even that your competition or those that who were against you are now kind of like wondering exactly what it was that they were trying to come for you for in the first place. You know, like it's really full circle energy. And I've been seeing that a lot. 314, 314 pi, like the, the pi number, like a complete cycle of something. Just as I look at my ring light.
this is interesting energy. Hold on. Okay, so... Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so that's what's... Okay, so it's like... I was picking that up. It's like there's an energy that wants to just say, Oh, yeah, this person is loopy loop, looper McLooper stins because they... Um, I don't know, like, maybe, really what I'm getting is, is, like, maybe your intuition confused you at one point, or, like, there was just a lot, I'm just picking up someone is still trying to pin you as something, but almost in a narcissistic way, where it's, like, but you're not the only person on earth you know what i mean like it's like you're not the only person on earth so it's like did i really mess up that bad or is it just that now you don't know what to do you know now you're not sure how to play it now but did i really like i hear hearing those lyrics um uh, what is it? It's IMDDB. She's like, oh, it's like, sorry, tell me where I went wrong. I didn't. I'm sorry. She's like, making money, 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 making money. Making money. It's called currency. And then with currency, I'm thinking of the K in currency, which makes me think of the Kauno rune. The K rune, which is like enlightenment, enlightenment power. So it's almost like you're, I don't know, rising up above this energy. Like, I don't know. I feel like somebody wanted to do the gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. That kind of energy. Ha, you look down. But then it's kind of like, it feels like it's needless sacrifice for you to even feel insecure about that little mishap. because it doesn't even really add up anymore like whatever it was I guess maybe they caught you when I saw the seven of pentacles like they caught you in a growth area and then tried to label that seven of pentacles as the ten of pentacles but it's like no you caught me in an in between an awkward stage and then you're about to see why you were wrong you know like now you're about to see why you really didn't even you know what I mean need to go there in the first place like it kind of has that kind of energy like maybe you were incorrect about some stuff but you know i don't know it's just kind of like you're right even rising above that And so then I'm also picking up in the heart space. Something about fluidity is coming through. Grace having grace
This okay, so yeah, I guess something about kind of either it's something about fluidity and then where you stand with that, either how you present yourself or the way you show up what others think about that but then also what you think about that and whether or not i don't know like i don't know i don't know for me fluidity fluidity is a blockage for me that is just kind of like i don't feel like how you present yourself has to necessarily mean that much of anything that's for me like I just feel like in the way that we have our society set up you know black women in particular are already naturally seen more masculine right so it's like if my hair isn't like this and I'm not showing a little bit of this and I just have a big T on and have my hair in a bun, that's for someone that's going to be masculine or that's going to be, oh, she's fluid or is she gay or whatever, right? Or I like, you know, big pants and a big T and, and converse and that's just how I want to go out today. But then I feel like that's black women don't always get that luxury or black men to be you know more fluid in the other direction right like they we don't get that same luxury where i feel like other women can do that and then it's like oh she's just chilling today she's just chilling she's just wearing her big sweat she's just giving you know She's just chilling. She's in her chill. Maybe she just got back from the gym or she just wants to go on a walk. Like, it's like a whole different view of how women are seen or how people are seen depending on the skin tone. So then when it comes to that, it's kind of like, so I have to do more work to appear a certain way to prove that I'm not this or not that when it's just kind of like I don't know like literally I could button this all the way up put my hair in a certain way take off the jewelry right and just be chilling and then it's like someone may label that some way, you know, of like, okay, she's more mask presenting or, oh, you know, I don't know. But then the moment I do this and this and put on some earrings and sit a certain way, right, and then shut up and don't say shit, now I'm feminine. Now I'm very feminine. And I give and I give cat eyes or something. Now I'm very feminine. So do you see how it's like these things don't really like it's all perception. And then I feel like maybe you're worried that you have to do certain things to to catch a man <laughs> because of, of that. Right. Like it's like it, I have to be this in order to catch a man and like i don't know maybe that's just because of the past for you or something i don't know it's like fluidity is is a big convo in this situation in in this so to me it's this or it to me it's like it's this or that it's colors it's how you present yourself on the day right like i don't know to me but for others it means different things but it's like i don't know it's just like i like the freedom of dress i like the freedom to be comfortable i like the freedom to wear makeup or to not wear any i like the freedom to you know be in my big big clunk shoes or if i feel like it wear something a little bit more slinky whatever like it's like it's how i feel it should be about how i feel 
opposed to what it looks like for you, 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 whoever. So I don't know. That's that with that. Take that however it resonates for you. But that's something I honestly think about a lot because I've been, you know, just personally speaking from my own personal experience kind of back and forth just depending on the day depending on where I'm at and then it's like don't let the person have a square jawline right something that's naturally seen masculine or how your eyes sit on your face or even right the kinkier the hair texture the more masculine it's seen so it's like we don't really get that many options the afro samarizas don't get that many options so it's like that's why we just do what we do look shocker shocker down the freeway for me <laughs> like and that's what i'm saying like someone needing you to literally do more work look more feminine when it's like okay so i clean my body today i'm clean i smell good i just am not wearing makeup and I'm wearing very natural makeup. Look, shaku shaku bye. Like, and that's what I was thinking about. I wrote that card. This is something that I like put just like an Afrobeats deck of all the Afrobeats songs. Cause I've been listening to them a lot for the past year or so. And so they're, they mean, they like have certain meanings to me. And for me, it's like, that's somebody asking you to literally like dance all the way down the freeway to meet them where they're at like don't take a car get on the freeway with the cars and i'm gonna need you to dance all the way to me like you're asking me to do way way more than i really should have to do you know so i don't know if you feel that pressure you put that pressure on yourself and that other people don't even see it like that or maybe you've dealt with folks that make you feel that way so now you're like kind of second guessing your dress or or second guessing the way you present yourself or if it's not good enough side it's like why I could play devil's advocate and ask you why do you cover yourself up or wear big tees and big pants are you doing it because maybe you feel uncomfortable because I was picking up the sexual lower nature issues right do you like to dress more feminine but you don't feel safe to do so and that's why you do it you know or is it because really you feel good that like it's all and it's like the reality of fluidity is like water you can't hold on to it so it's kind of hard i don't know like that's just i think i have a fluid mind so when i think about these things to me it's like it's either or whatever the day right but i know not everyone sees it that way but i think maybe that's something you need to ask yourself and ask yourself, do you want to be in a more feminine inner? Is it too cold? Is it just too damn cold outside? And that's why you're wearing your big tees. Because you're not about to wear a slinky tee in 30 degree weather. See, like, all these things matter. All these things matter. But then I'm getting... Okay, so I got... <laughs> Know Your Level, Adekumle Gold, Good Love by Tamara, and then Avoid Things by Tim's in Reverse. So I feel like, it feels like from the most high there's a nudge to not avoid that feminine part of yourself though. That's what I'm getting. And this is from somebody who you can see, like, if you look at my videos, the other ones that I have up it's different day to day but i'm feeling like there's a push for something like know your level and i don't know if this is somebody else that already knows your level and doesn't mind 
or you you should know your own level and know that there's nothing wrong with kind of like getting dressed that way if you want to you know and sometimes it's like because of the male gaze also this goes deep for the afro samarisa but like not wanting to be seen that way because of what comes with that you know like it's like i don't want to be seen that way because then here comes the creep here comes the old here comes old ass grandpa from boondocks like licking his lips at you when you're walking by you know or then here comes awkward ass dude you know awkward ass random stranger asking you you know do you like to fuck on the bart train and that act that actually happened to me <laughs> so like these are the things you know like it's like these are the things that then we want to avoid them because they make us feel uncomfortable but that's a part of the work now right i think that's a part of the work for you now taurus is like finding that balance and being okay because it's like if you're on that treetop summit old grandpa down on the floor you know really doesn't hold any rank right like you can look as beautiful as you want to and they can say whatever they want but they don't hold the same rank you know what i mean it's a lot it's a lot let me see what else spirits say you're a dime though and I picked up a dime today. Just randomly, I found a dime underneath. So it's like, I feel like it's like, you need to know your level and know that all this work that you've done also shows on the outside. So not that there's anything wrong with covering it or dressing a certain way, but just that don't forget to celebrate how far you've come. Don't forget to celebrate how far you've come and to feel good in your skin, because You've done some work. You have done some work. And then it's also like the things we relate to femininity. It's like, is her nose small? Who has, who, who in society has small noses like that? right not all of us have that so it's like these things all go into what is feminine so we have to remember that also You don't need no other body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So it's like, you need to also know though, cause what I'm getting with this is like, with know your level, whoever like grandpa grandpa from boondocks creepy or like creepy folks that didn't really respect you like it's like you've risen above that like no more of that because you know your worth you're still learning it but you know what you deserve and what you do not deserve and i feel like it might be foreign to you like you're used to kind of expecting that kind of energy and then having to push it away and say no thank you and then wonder when is the like good actual energy gonna come in you know like that kind of like yeah i know that's what i don't want and that's what i need to stay away from but i don't really know where i'm gonna find what i actually want and then it's kind of like you're at that point where you're about to find that and it's like it may not even be believable to you you know and like 
and may not even really come from where you think it's gonna come from but that you're worthy of it and like you need to know it and act like it and feel it you know really feel it and you don't need no other body and then i love that song but then turn up cool me down like this came out sideways to me there's these two songs turn up and cool me down both by Wizkid and DJ Tunes and so it's like I found them both at the same time right so it's like I would play the turn up one and then the cool me down one right after and it kind of made me think of like you know when you're mad and then you're cool and you have to go back and forth and so that kind of gives me the fluidity so for this to come out sideways it's like either way no matter how you look whether you're on this side or this side like you don't need no other body like you're good to go you know like you're good just like really realize that that you're good and that the future is now look from this song i don't know if you know the song 079 me girl i know you from somewhere maybe really i'm lying you know that i just want your number baby and then future is now don't waste your time like you're used to that but it's like that's in the past and so that's partly something that maybe it's time for you to clear so that you can be prepped for something a little bit more in the energy that you're really looking for so that's cool that's cool let me see if there's anything else where are we at 58 minutes yeah and I, okay it's now i'm kind of seeing this a little bit differently of like if fluidity is your lane you know like if that's your lane like be comfortable in that lane like be I don't know just be comfortable in that lane like it's like there's nothing really wrong I feel like that's what I would say there's nothing really wrong with how you put like it's all just preconceived notions that you have from from granddad you know from granddad from weird dude on Bart from so and so from the guy in school the girl in school like, these are just these ideas, you know? But you're not really realizing that you've bloomed into something. An Afro Samurai. Like, it's like you're not... You know what I mean? You're not... It's different. Like, it's different. You've changed a lot. So, regardless, it's like, just know you're in your lane and you're in there. You're in there. You know? You're in that lane. Like, you've set the lane for yourself. yeah yeah so i think that's it taurus that's it afro samariza go ahead and slay the day do your shinobi run back to wherever you're going back home or back to your sanctuary finding your sanctuary and um be strong but don't be afraid to be soft okay so i hope this helped hope it gave you some insight and i'll see you in the next one bye